98% of our employers are small businesses. And right now, we have bailed out Wall Street banks and we've completely shortchanged small businesses who are struggling. So I want to set aside about a $30 billion pool of funds from the money that is, the banks have paid back to the government and use that for loans uh, for small businesses that have paid their bills on time and simply want a fair chance to be able to get through this economic perfect storm and eventually to grow. The second thing I think is very important is to focus on making sure that people have a safety net. That means making sure that we do everything to keep people in their homes, uh, to give the ability uh, for judges uh, and others to modify uh, mortgage payments so that people aren't evicted from the American dream by being evicted from their home. Uh, and also to make sure that we provide unemployment compensation on the condition that someone continues to diligently work and to look for a new job. And third and finally, uh, it's important to have a fence at the top of the cliff, uh, much more important to have a fence at the top of the cliff than to have an ambulance below. So I think building a fence at the top of the cliff and making sure that uh, Wall Street's greed doesn't take advantage of working men and women again, it should be one of our top priorities. Uh, I have been very strong from outset to say that we need to be tough on Wall Street. We need to make sure that, for example, we have a strong consumer protection agency whose focus is on making sure that this kind of thing never happens again. Number two, we have to separate the investment banking uh, uh, activities of banks, which are really risky schemes and often, and often hurt people, from the traditional activities of banks, which are loans and deposits. Uh, I think that if we uh, pass legislation on the federal level, and I hope we do it soon, uh, then we will have the advantage of doing three things. Making sure that jobs in China uh, aren't outnumbering jobs in the United States and that in fact we're creating new jobs here. Number, three, that we're, number two, that we're keeping people in their homes. And number three, that we're regulating Wall Street, making sure that this crisis never happens again. What do you make of the criticism, uh, comments from your opponent uh, about a whispering campaign related to fundraising? Uh, you know, I don't uh, dignify uh, charges and attacks that are completely unfounded and are based primarily on conspiracy theories. I'm proud of the fact that we're running a positive campaign and I think it's important to focus on what people care about. I don't think people care about these kinds of attacks. In fact, to be honest, it's just the opposite. Uh, they're turned off uh, by politicians who are always attacking each other, uh, whether it's on stage or off stage. I think it, it, in many ways, is insulting to the voters who are trying to put food on the table and a roof overhead and trying to find a job to get into this kind of insider attack. So I continue to say that they're not true, but then quickly focus on what's most important to Ohio families, and that's jobs. Um. I'll ask you this as a Democrat. Uh, what do you make of the Tea Party movement and what kind of impact do you think that's going to have in the November election? I think that the Tea Party movement uh, is an indication that people are angry and they're frustrated. And I don't think it's directed towards either party. I don't think it's directed toward the Democrats or the Republicans. I think it's really directed to two W's, Washington and Wall Street. Uh, I think they're tired of people who've spent their life in Washington, D.C., ultimate uh, insiders who know every nook and cranny of the privileged corridors of the U.S. Capitol, but don't know much about what's happening in every corner of the state of Ohio where middle class families are struggling. And I think they're also angry at Wall Street that has been put uh, really uh, a higher priority than Main Street. They're seeing us uh, bail out banks on Wall Street at the same time small businesses who have never missed a payment in their life can't get a loan. That's what people are mad at. And the truth of the matter is there are a lot of people out there who are mad, and they're not necessarily in the Tea Party, but they're still mad. Now, my view is that uh, we should show respect to people who want to uh, express their concern. And as long as they do it in a way that is peaceful, uh, civil, uh, and nonviolent, I respect their right to do it, even if I may not agree with every statement that comes out of the Tea Party, and I don't. Are you surprised by the tone that your campaign, not, not you specifically, but mm -hmm. the, the campaign has taken, and do you have any concerns about uh, uh, implications for that going 
forward from the primary? Well, I can only control how I run my campaign. I can't control how someone else runs theirs. Uh, and I believe we need to be focused on defeating Rob Portman, Congressman Rob Portman, in the fall, because I think it is a great contrast between the past and the future. Uh, between someone who was the chief architect of trade policies that outsourced jobs to China and India and Mexico, somebody who as budget director was the chief architect of tax policies that benefited the very wealthiest but ignored and actually in some cases hurt Ohio's middle class, and someone who was right at the front deregulating Wall Street and saying let them do what they want instead of saying wait a second, uh, if you do that, uh, that unfortunately the greed on Wall Street may very well swallow up the good intentions and the hard-working people on Main Street. Uh, so my focus on May 5th, regardless of who wins this primary, is to be unified. Uh, and if I don't win the primary, I will enthusiastically support and campaign uh, for the Secretary of State. And of course, I hope she'll do the same if we prevail. Okay. Anything else you want to add? I think it would be important for people to know. Yes. Uh, the single most important thing is that I am running uh, because too many middle class families in Ohio are struggling. And I want to be their champion. I want to be their advocate. I want to be their fighter. I have spent years on the ground working to save and create jobs. And now I want to go to Washington, D.C. and stop the tax breaks to companies that send their jobs overseas. Stop allowing Wall Street to do basically anything they want to do uh, and do everything we can to keep people in their homes so that they can put food on the table, save for college, and get a good job with good wages for themselves and for their family. For me, this is all about jobs and growing Ohio's economy, because if we do that, we will not only get out of this economic recession, but we can chart a whole new path for a bright future for Ohio by reinventing ourselves and moving to a clean energy economy.